News. SeaWorld is renovating its killer whale enclosure to ease some of the criticism of the way it cares for its animals. Thanks for being with us. I'm Bill Griffith. I'm Virginia Cha. As we first showed you in live streaming video on 10news.com, SeaWorld has announced that it will nearly double the size of the orca habitats. 10news reporter Ashley DiMartino is live at SeaWorld. So, Ashley, critics, though, have made it clear that for them, this expansion is not enough. Yeah, they've named this project the Blue World Project, and SeaWorld San Diego is the first upgrade of this expansion because it is the first SeaWorld. And of course, it's not without controversy. The critics are already sounding their horns of disapproval. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue World Project. A first of its kind killer whale environment. Our fans, the guests who come into our parks, are not surprised by this at all and sur surely are inspired by it as we are. This is what Shamu and his friends swim in now, but the pictures of the new habitat show an upgraded tank, double in size, holding more than 10 million gallons of water, an increased depth of 50 feet, with a surface area of 1.5 acres spanning 350 feet in length. It will also include a 40-foot viewing wall for visitors. The expansion isn't just about space. Research, science, um, understand killer whale physiology a little bit better. $10 million is going to research and conservation of killer whales, but critics of SeaWorld are not impressed. PETA had this response. This is a desperate drop in the bucket move to try and turn back the hands of time at a time when people understand the suffering of captive orcas, and it will not save the company. What could save it would be the recognition that it needs not to make larger tanks, but to turn the orcas out in sea sanctuaries so that they can feel and experience the ocean again, hear their families, and one day be reunited with them. A bigger prison is still a prison. They're terribly misinformed and they're absolutely wrong. Our whales are thriving here at SeaWorld. We've been taking world-class care of these animals through dedicated professional work. We're a professional zoological institution and we love these animals more than anyone can possibly imagine. Visitors think it's a step in the right direction. Well, I think it's fantastic. I think anything that uh, SeaWorld can do to uh, you know, open up the, the, the uh, facility to the public and increase awareness about uh, anything that has anything to do with the ocean is a great thing. Now, the upgrades will also take place in Orlando and San Antonio. Construction here at SeaWorld San Diego begins in 2015 with completion by 2018. We're live at SeaWorld this afternoon. Ashley DiMartino, 10 News. Thank you, Ashley. As you just heard Ashley tell you, animal rights activists say SeaWorld's plans fall short. 10 News talked to one of SeaWorld's most outspoken critics, local animal rights activist Ellen Erickson. She calls the move by SeaWorld a desperate attempt to save themselves. The orcas belong in the wild. They do not belong in an enclosed swimming pool that's chemically treated. Increasing the size of the swimming pool does not solve the problem. In the wild, orcas can dive up to a thousand feet. In the new tank, the most they will be able to dive is 50 feet. Enslaving animals for profit is wrong. Now, Erickson says if SeaWorld really cared about the animals, they would stop breeding them and build them a sanctuary instead of expanding their habitat. She is planning a rally on Sunday morning at 930 outside SeaWorld and another one on August 31st. Let me give you a closer look at SeaWorld's plan. This is the existing Shamu Stadium. This is the performance area right here. These are the holding pens right here. This is the new Blue World that's going in. It's going to be added to the existing. You see it's twice as big as the existing and goes all around there with all these other viewing options as well. Now, if you download our 10 News mobile app, you can let us know what you think about SeaWorld's changes. We have a poll going on right now. We're going to show you some of the preliminary results of that poll coming up in our next half hour.